the forbidden hunt. Human prey. <laughs> to rejoice in the breaking of the prime commandment. Thou shalt not kill. Sort of makes you horny, doesn't it? Ooh, you can taste the fear. That sickly, sweet fear. The air is thick and just oozing with it. It electrifies. The hair on the back of your arms just bristles. You are in control. You hear the shallow, fast breaths of your prey, like cymbals that complement the thud, thud drumbeat of their racing heart. It's the soundtrack that you live for. Every serial killer just needs their own theme song. And this one is yours. All that is within existence ravenously consumes. The lion eats the lamb. The lamb eats grass. The grass consumes rain. And you... You consume the energy of your victim's terror. Base chakra energy. The adrenaline of fight, flight, and fuck. Oh, the very essence of survival of the self and the species. Base chakra energy. It both feeds your soul and invigorates your libido. Oh, why simply eat? when you can get off on it too. Oh, the gods of old were fed from the energy of prayers and the blood sacrifices of their devotees. You deal in death, so you too are a god and shall not be denied. You're not merely playing cat and mouse. This is not simply playing with your food. You need to drain every single drop of fear that your victim has to offer. Oh, you don't want to plunge the knife into their heart prematurely before they've given it all to you. You can't afford to do that. You have to put them through every single ounce of suffering possible first. You want it all. The shamans of old would put on a big show and the people just lapped it up. The press is loving your act and can't get enough. Oh, society might condemn you, but secretly they're loving every single minute, every drop of blood, every dead body. So what if one person is sacrificed when you're keeping billions on this piss-weak little planet going? You help break the mundane drudge of their very existence, their everyday drudgery existence. Oh, you're the one giving them a reason to keep going. They need you. So who cares if one or two insignificance must die? for the good of the masses. Oh, but let, let us not allow our minds to wander. The lion cares not for the opinions of the sheep. We must concentrate on the hunt, on the victim, our prey, our very sustenance. Oh, see the beautiful suffering. Can there be any higher art form than the ballet of snuff? Your reviews are written across the headlines in entrails and bright red gore. <laughs> Your victim has already worked out who you are. And now, let's get up and personal. <laughs> and now it's time for the kill. You really are the master. Or, should I say, the high priestess? 
The female is always the most dangerous of the species. Kudos on a job well done.